Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RV Guy, back again with another little quick video review. And today guys, I want to talk about multi-tools. Um, now a multi-tool guys is a small pocket knife size item, maybe a little bit larger, with different attachments on it. It can have a knife blade, a saw blade, um, maybe a pair of pliers, it can have scissors, a corkscrew, an auger, and the list can go on and on, hence the term multi-tool. Um, each one of these little attachments has different functions that you could use in everyday use, in a survival situation, in a work situation. A nice little tool to have. And one tool that I've grown very fond of is this one. This is a Plano multi-tool. Now... I had this multi-tool in the toolbox and kind of neglected it for years and not knowing that the potential of this thing, what it could be used for in a survival situation or just a everyday work situation or everyday carry, okay? First of all, if we do the measurements on this, the handle from front to back is about six inches guys all right maybe a little bit under six inches but about six inches and what you get on this is when you take off this clip here off the back that's how you open it up this is a spring activated thing here you get a heavy duty pliers with a set of wire cutters okay you also get pocket knife blade, very sharp pocket knife blade, guys, all right, kind of like the uh, Swiss Army knives, but larger and thicker, stainless steel, um, or maybe like a buck knife, very thick, with an edge on it, let's see if you guys can see that, there is an edge on the blade, okay, you also get a saw blade, all right, Serrated edge saw blade, if you guys could take a look at that. And at the end, you get a flathead screwdriver. All right, nice size saw blade, a saw that you can actually use. On the reverse side of the saw, you get a file. Uh, I guess they machined in the file, but it's done very well, guys. Um, also, you get a can opener and a bottle opener with a little blade on it, which is cool to have we flip it over, we also get a, uh, put the clip back on here, a Phillips screwdriver head, all right, now, I like this because of the way it's built, it's heavy, it's strong, and it's just the right size, if we close all this up, except for the blade, if you want to use it as for a knife, the handle fits in your hand perfectly. It's got little grooves in the plastic for a non-slip grip. And remember we said it was about six inches from here to here. But if we measure it from blade to handle, it's about eight and a half, almost nine inches long. All right, which is a nice size. A lot of times you get these multi-tools or pocket knives and they're too small, but this is a nice size. You get a good solid grip on it, and it's built well. It's built heavy. Um, like I said before, it has a saw on it that you can actually use. Now, in comparison to this one, this is another of my favorite multi-tools. This is the Gerber suspension tool, guys. And this has a lot of different things on it. Um... Gerber makes good tools, Leatherman makes good tools, and if you're going to buy one, I would suggest getting a good one, because after a year they break on you, but these last for years and years, but look at the difference in the saw, now this is the Gerber saw, and this is their saw, okay, look at the difference guys, not to say you couldn't use this saw, but it's going to take you longer, okay, what if you want to saw something down? Now, I do have a little piece of wood here. Alright, let's close down the, the knife blade. Let's open the saw. I do have a small piece of wood. And 
Like I said, this saw works. You guys take a look at this. Um, where am I at here? Here we go. Like I said, the saw actually works. Now, I'm not getting the leverage on this table that I want, but a couple more times back and forth, I can go right through this stick with the saw. As you can see here on the table, there's the wood. Um, the knife also works very sharp. And this is just a nice tool, nice heavy-duty tool, guys. Like I said, um, I've had it in a... I believe this came in a fishing tackle kit. But I did find it on eBay, and they do sell it. It has a little sheath with it. And um, I don't have the sheath anymore. I must have lost it for years. It has a nylon sheath. I couldn't find it on Amazon, but I did find it on eBay. Um, but like I said, I've neglected this for years. And this has become my favorite everyday carry because it has everything that I need, guys. You've got your pliers with your wire cutters. With a gripper right here, if you want to grab something, right in the middle. And it's all it's all machined very well, guys. Let me take this off so you can see it. It's all machined very well. Okay? You get your pliers, your wire cutters. You've got your knife, like I said before. Well, this is a can opener. I'm sorry about that. You've got your knife. And you've got your, uh, you've got your saw. And all this stuff is heavy duty. And believe it or not, this is made in China. Now, um, I guess this was made in a time when they really took pride in their stuff. Because this is not cheap. This is not cheap by any, any standards. This is made of heavy-duty materials. And it's not going to break on you. And it has everything I need. Now, it doesn't have the, the scissors and the uh, corkscrew and all the other stuff. But if you come to think about it, do you really use those things? This is all you really need, guys. Um, yeah, you get your knife, you got your saw, you got your pliers, you got your screwdrivers, you got the things that you're going to use every day. So if you're a handyman, if you're a, uh, a bushcraft guy, or you just want everyday carry, or you want something nice to put in your bag that you can rely on that's not going to break on you, I would check this out. I'd definitely check this out. Um... Like I said, I found this on eBay. I'll put a link in the description. Couldn't find it on Amazon, but I found it on eBay, and it does, it does come with a little holster, a little uh, nylon sheath you can put it in. But this is an excellent tool, and this has become my everyday carry tool, guys, just because of the versatility and the de dependability of it, okay? So, this has been your buddy, Arby Guy. With the review of the Plano multi tool. Until next time, peace.